the committee, this basic group up in front here. Uh, in general, we will not take questions from the from the audience. You're, you're certainly welcome to be here, but this is this is the last. This is sort of the concentrated moment. So after this discussion time, then we'll ask uh, the the other guests and David to leave the room while we have a private discussion. And this is a time when family and friends are really important. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the time when the sweating really starts when you're standing on Saturday. So we're very happy that we have family and friends here for this, for this time. And then afterwards, then we, we bring them in and we give them a break. David? Oh, yes. Hey, thank you very much. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody being here. Um, this is a very exciting time for me to be defending the dissertation. Uh, it's been a, a long journey, and um, I've gotten so much help from really everybody in this room, so I thank you all. Um, so I welcome, I welcome you, welcome uh, my committee, um, obviously Ron Lee, major professor, uh, Susan Clemens, Josh Duda. It's kind of a roll call to make sure we're all here. <laughs> <laughs> See you every time. Who are you looking at? <laughs> and last but not least, Mary Ann Buckley. So, then of course, my fellow musketeers and my dear family. So, welcome to everybody. So, uh, the title of the dissertation, as I hope you know by now, is uh, Social Network Structure as a Critical Success Condition for Open Source software project communities. So basically this work is about open source software communities. And in particular, we look at social network structure and the extent to which social network structure is related to the success of the community. So uh, what I'd like to do in the presentation part of the defense is, I'm gonna start off with a summary. So basically just do a quick overview of the actual work that was completed and present a summary of the findings kind of give you the, the bottom line first. And then really the rest of the presentation will be filling in some of the details as far as how did I arrive at those findings and uh, what do they mean in terms of just the success of open source and what do they mean also perhaps in terms of implications about extensions of open source and some maybe some broader implications. So after the summary, I'll talk a little bit about motivation. Uh, there's three fundamental mysteries that we've observed of open source that motivate this work. So I'll talk about those and how they relate to the objectives of the research. Then I'll get into the actual propositions of the research, uh, the research model which defines its scope. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the background of social network theory, which of course is the fundamental informing theory behind this work. And then I'll go through each of what are six propositions which relate social network structure to community success in open source projects. I'll talk a little bit about methodology, sampling, data compilation, data analysis. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Um, I'm, of course, very willing to dig into more details on it, but I, I think I'm going to just touch on that and then try to spend more time talking about the actual results, discussing them, uh, I'm trying to explain what is actually happening here, and then even further extending that to say, what does that mean about open source? Um, in the conclusions, I'll talk a little bit about the idea of platform mediation. This is what we think is maybe beginning to connect open source with perhaps uh, areas beyond software. And this may be one of the fundamental broader implications of the work. So I'll talk about the idea of platform mediation, uh, which, like I say, is really kind of outside of the boundary of the dissertation itself, but sort of connected to future work. Then go into contributions and uh, future research directions. Okay, does that make sense? Any questions or comments at this point? All right, so in summary, basically what we did, we performed a large-scale, normative, social network study of open source software project communities. Now, most or all of the social network studies of open source have been descriptive. So to have an actual normative study where we go and we try to look for uh, the kinds of social structures that are either good or bad with respect to the outcomes of the community, that's quite unusual. What's even more unusual is to have a large-scale study where we get hopefully enough project communities and enough networks that are studied to get some statistically significant results. And, uh, and we believe we are the first to perform this kind of study in the very open source. Of 
course, there was quite a bit of literature review. Uh, again, social network theories were very important, so that was studied in quite a bit of detail. In general, and social network theory goes back for 70 years. Um, there's really 70 years of history, uh, beginning with social psychology. Uh, it's uh, moved into organizational studies. Uh, even physics has gotten into the mix uh, really recently. But uh, the idea of social network theories and that social networks are important in various kinds of social and organizational outcomes uh, is well accepted. And specifically, we look at social network theories applied to teams. And there's 50 years of work that is normative and does show how social network structures affect uh, team outcomes in terms of performance or effectiveness. Um, then the specific domains of, that were looked at in the literature review, uh, we look at open source software, especially looked at the notion of open and distributed innovation. So the empirical work, basically this is an empirical study. Uh, we identified a population of 143 open source project communities. We used SourceForge, which is the largest uh, and most prominent hosting platform for open source projects. Uh, and from there, we extracted archival historical data for those 143 projects. Uh, we used that data to compile research variables some for social network structure, some for community success, and we uh, analyzed the relationships between the two using multiple regression analysis. So in a nutshell, that's what we did. And here's what we found. Now, on the left-hand side, 